I'm Dr. Steven Finkel from Stanford School of Regional Anesthesia. In this video, we're going to look at how we do our femoral nerve blocks at the Stanford Hospital. Uh, and whether you're approaching this block for a one-shot block or you're going to be placing a catheter, the patient positioning is the same. We're going to have our patients lying supine. If we're doing a one-shot block, obviously we have the site prepped sterilely, but we do not drape. It, if, um, and if we're going to be placing a catheter in, uh, the entire site is prepped and draped in sterile fashion along with the ultrasound probe uh, being covered. Alright, so for doing our femoral nerve block, I have the patient lying in supine position. I'm going to be placing the ultrasound probe essentially right near the inguinal crease. And what I'm looking for to find first, because it's a great uh, marker, are the femoral vessels. So, I don't see anything on this scan. I'm going to start approaching medially and I'm going to take advantage of the anatomy that we know so that the nerve will sit lateral to the femoral vessel. So as I scan medially, I'm very interested in finding the femoral vessels, which I'm starting to see come into the screen here. Having located my femoral vessels, I'm just going to scan upward in a little bit. Notice what happened. Here's our femoral artery. Clearly you can see uh, in pulsatile fashion. If, and we're going to do a little uh, color Doppler flow through there just to confirm. All right, having confirmed that that's a vessel, if my probe is a little bit too caudad, you're going to see right now it's already given off and split from the uh, femoral artery. And this may very well be uh, the profunda. Uh, and we don't want to block at this level. I'm going to raise and go cephalad so that I have one clear defined artery here. Now we know that the femoral nerve is going to sit lateral to the femoral artery and I'm just going to gently rock my probe. Notice how the image changes slightly as I do that. This is a much poorer image and as I gently rock backward I'm going to get a much better image now. And I strongly suspect that our femoral nerve is sitting right here just lateral to the femoral artery. One of the reasons that people have failed blocks when doing a femoral nerve block is that they don't appreciate that the femoral nerve, which again I suspect is right here, sits just underneath fascia iliaca. The fascia iliaca, which I believe is this layer right here, invests around the superior aspect of the femoral nerve. If you come in with your needle lateral to medial and you don't get your needle underneath this fascial plane, you're going to have a very spotty or failed block. So any injection up here is going to be asking for failure. The target that I look for is to inject underneath the nerve so that you see local spreading around it on both sides, almost lifting the nerve upward. When you do that and you have good circumferential coverage, uh, it's very, very rare to get a failed block. If you were going to be putting a catheter in place once your one-shot injection is in, I would like to see the tip of my needle sitting right there underneath the nerve and if possible under direct visualization watch the catheter gently threading and sitting just underneath the nerve. I know several people do use nerve stimulators. They are useful tools but sometimes uh, can also be uh, frankly a hindrance if you're looking to try to get that perfect twitch. Um, I do tend to use them, but when I've confirmed that I'm getting a twitch and I'm near this structure and I've confirmed that it's the nerve, I'm more interested in ensuring that I get proper spread on the anatomical view that I can see than ensuring that I get the absolute best twitch down to point uh, four on my monitor. Sometimes it can be very frustrating trying to do that. In total for this block, if we're doing a one-shot block, we would use uh, 30 cc's of local anesthetic. Currently, we are using 0.5% ropivacaine, but that has changed from time to time over the years. Very important when you're doing this block, obviously, with any block, aspirate prior to injecting. In this instance, our biggest concern is we're very close to the femoral vessels. We want to avoid an intravascular injection. Okay, so this is a live block example of a femoral nerve block on a left leg. The needle's coming lateral to medial, right to left across the screen. 
the femoral artery is just off, well now it's just on the screen that you can appreciate. There is a nerve stimulator being used, so the needle seems to jump in and out of plane. But once I've confirmed that I have my twitch, I tend to turn my needle uh, nerve stimulator off. I'm interested in positioning my needle just under the nerve and beginning my injection there, looking for good circumferential spread. If I can't get it with the needle underneath, I will readjust the needle. You see it now sitting on top of the nerve. And the keys are to make sure you get good local anesthetic spread so that you have circumferential coverage around the nerve. The nerve block can take a good 20 to 30 minutes to fully set because the femoral nerve is a large structure. So don't be discouraged if you don't have a good block 5, 10, 15 minutes after you've completed your injection.